fine so what we are going to do uh, we'll install license right so i have already copied this license in tmp folder <clears throat> so what we are going to see that in case in future if your license is you know expired and you have taken a new license from your oem so how to install it you don't need to run the entire setup again right so we can go to the specific folder and there will be executable file then you will run that file then it will show you a prompt for you know copying that license so uh, this command is you know this uh, service space arcsight underscore services status all will show you the status of your services so whenever you know you are working on your arcsight make sure your services are up and running right so i use a command watch for this command so that it will show you the you know exact status if the status is getting changed otherwise you can run this simple command and then you can see the status all right if you wanted to see the specific service status then in spite of writing a status all you can write down that service name for example i wanted to check the status of this manager service right so in spite of writing this all write manager so it will only show you the status of your manager service so these are the name of your services you can select write down that service name and then you can check the status right if you wanted to access your server through web and it is not accessible make sure that this web service is up this one right so if your outside is not accessible through browser due to any reason first check the service of web right so in similar way you can run all this command right so what we have done so far we have copied this license in which folder tmp folder right this is what is a license file right i was showing you in winscp how to change the properties but anyway if you are using a console then best practice is perform activity from you know cli or console itself right so see here this outcome is not properly coming right because i need to scroll it down up right so what i'll do i'll access this particular tool means outside from putty right we we can do ssh correct so write down your server ip because it's a linux right then select ssh default port number enter it will ask for the username and password i'm going to write a username what was the username outside right and then password i'll change this font size i hope it's visible right yes. so we'll go to the folder directly <coughs> right and we can see this file the license file but permission is you know full permission is not there so if you wanted to change it you need to run a command ch mode 777 it will give you a full read write and executable so the first meaning of, of 7 is read full read then full write and then full executable but can i run this command do i have a rights to run it out no sir no so let's see because i have logged in with you know outside a user right so if you wanted to change you need to run the command su then password of your root right and now you can change you know right but if you wanted to execute any file which is related to arcsight you know you should log in with arcsight account only so now we have changed the password right sorry now we have changed the username right it is showing with so what i'll do i'll run a exit command i'm not sure whether it's a visible or not so it can it can show you a username arcsight right so if you wanted to execute any specific command right after the installation of arcsight every file will get stored in a script folder so what will be the path so that arcsight will get installed in opt folder there will be a folder name arcsight right then manager then bin and then script folder 
So this is what is a part where all maximum executable file will get stored, which will be required in day-to-day -day activity, right? So if I enter in this folder, right? So if you run a command ll, it will show you all files, right? So what I'm going to run ll pipe more so that it will show you page wise, right? So if you check, there will be some license related name, right? The file deploy license or something. Is it there? Yes. So if you wanted to install a new license, you can run this particular file. But one catch is, what is the path of this particular file? This is inside the script folder. But you cannot execute any file from a script folder. Any file which you wanted to execute, right? You should be in bin folder. Currently we are in a script folder, right? So what we will do in Linux, you can write a command cd space dot dot to move one step back. So if I'll enter cd space dot dot and now if I'll run a command pwd, it will show you the path where you are, right? So now if you have to run this particular file, what you'll do, <coughs> you can run a command dot slash site and then file name so any executable file which is inside a script folder if you have to run that file before that file you will have to write dot space site any file which is in a script folder right but if there is a file which is in bin folder if you wanted to run any executable file which is a part of bin folder you can write down directly that file name for example setup services.sh because this setup services.sh is a part of this bin folder if you wanted to execute this file then you don't need to put this arcsite parameter before this executable command so this is what is the syntax if you are trying to execute any file which is in bin folder directly you can write down dot slash and then file name if any file which is in script folder then for executing that file before that file name, you'll have to write a keyword arcsite space. Right? Clear? But file will execute from bin folder only. This is very clear. You cannot execute that file from a script folder. Right? A question? So this is the syntax we cannot change, right? It's about a file script folder, right? Yes. No, uh, that's what I'm saying. A script folder may if you are inside a script folder mm -hmm. and trying to execute you cannot execute it so to execute that file you should be in bin folder right and then you have to write a keyword arc side space okay. and then the name of that particular file run. so this is what you're saying it will get run right it will run but you should be in a specific path right now i have taken a ssh of this particular uh, server so if i run this file from here which file? The license file. This is what is a name of file, right? If I run this file from here, so whatever output will come, it will come in CLI mode. So everything, whether this is a license agreement part or any, any option, yes, no, next, back, everything will come in CLI mode. So recommended is if you are trying to run any executable file, run it out from console so that it, you will be able to see it in a graphical format. Right? So what we will do, again I will go back to the console. This is what is the console. Right? <coughs> and the command which I was showing you on SSH, we will run that command from here because we can see the graphical outcome of that particular command. If you will run that command from CLI, it will also show you, it will it will run. It will show you the complete outcome, but the challenge will be that it will everything will come in CLI format. Select option 1, 2, 3, 4 kind of thing. That is not very, you know, user friendly to run it out. And what if we don't install the Linux in the graphical mode? Then you will be major trouble. Because everything will come in CLI format. Right, so you'll have to, you know, 
go through the complete line whether I should click on next or I should go to back or I should select some other option. You'll have to go through a complete, you know, text which is mentioned over there. In graphic, at least we, if you see that, okay, I'll click on next. Generally, you don't read the, you know, everything. Right, so what we will do, we will go to the folder, which folder, cd slash opt slash arc site slash manager slash bin, right? Okay, what I'll do, I'll, I'll run a command. Again, I'll go to the script folder just to, you know, copy that name. So I'm copying this file name. Anyway, if you remember, you can type it out, right? Again, I'll go back to one step back. We'll check the status. I'm in PWD. If I'm running a PWD command, I can see I'm in bin folder. What is the command if I have to run this command? Arc site and then this file name, right? So then paste. Correct? Or you write it down, enter. Sir, while this is a requirement that every file should run from the bin only. That uh, you know software architecture. architecture. Right? So it is showing this without allow to install up or replace the license. Okay, click on next. <coughs> Keep the current license file? No, I wanted to replace it. Next, then go to the path wherever you have copied it. Where it is? It is in TMP folder, right? So click here and then you can see the file name. Then select, let's click on next. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. It was showing the duration that for how much time it will be valid. Next. Right. If you have to check the license uh, for how many days it's valid, so how can I check? Mm, good question. I'll, I'll check it out. I've never checked it. Well, it, it shows on console if it is going to be expired, right? Mm -hmm. But from CLI, from log, how we can check it out? I'll check then and get back to you. Another part we can we can check it out from our you know uh, HP console support console. Where you can go and see it from there. Yes, from support board. Yeah. So generally, we follow that uh, approach because it doesn't matter that when you have started your implementation. For example, you have purchased your license today, and if you are starting your implementation two months back, four months back, or you know, miss later, yeah. doesn't matter. It will counting will start from today on our side. Yes. So if it is valid for five years, from today it will be valid for five years. Whether you are starting your installation in, in February or maybe in September or next year, doesn't matter for them. Right? So it is installed. Now, services were running. Correct? How to check? One second. So manager service is running means if I wanted to access through console, I should be able to do it, right? So make sure that you have installed console on your laptop or desktop, console software, right? Click on that software. Then write down a detail, whatever detail it is asking generally, it will ask for the user and password and then your host name or IP address, right? So what is the default username? admin right password and then host name because i have done a host entry right I'll, I'll show you if i ping using a host name it should show me the ip address right of my esm correct this is what is the ip address yes sir assured yes because we have access right yes sir so let's Click here and see whether we are able to access or not. <clears throat> right, so if your license is not valid, you cannot access your console. So we are able to access means it is working, correct? And here it is showing, you know, the date. Right? 
clear yes, so now it is clear how to install license right yes, i'll just but, but it is showing only in this console not in a in a software it will not show you because that will be a valid for a longer time